today will be another video about my new hamster cage because I talked a little bit about it in my last video and happy new year um, whatever, or whatever you guys are celebrating for me it is new year's and 2020 so I'll go talk about the cage right now okay so um here's the cage it's made out of wood and a plastic bin lid because we didn't have glass and yeah so if you guys we took out the little platform and we put that in it's a little hideout but you can go on top and that is timothy hay and i just sprinkled it around the um base of the cage so yeah and i did get a new water bottle and a new nozzle just because um the nozzle and the bottle like the nozzle on the other one was shot so that means since the water bottle um the water bottle um nozzle was like broken and so we just switched the bottle because we need that lid and so yeah so i'll just explain what i have in his cage right now okay so you can kind of see that wood piece that's a little like triangle hideout and it goes to the back of the cage and that is a you can see that green hideout right there and that rock hideout that's made out of ceramic that bendy bridge and that hideout back there and i do have his wheel right there so uh as i mentioned i have his sand if i did mention i have a sand bath a tube and a little treat the tube's right there and i have these um i got them for a buck for christmas my hamster so that's just a little carrot like chew toy thing and that is i'm pretty sure i forget what it's called but it's like a little like treat chew toy um so at the top this is how it looks we took the old mesh and put it on here and we just put two dowels because it's the handle and to give it stability and here are the two hinges for it to open so what i do is i just lift the lamp up and this thing is for hooking it up because we have a nail up there and if you open it it kind of makes a squeaky noise and then you just hook it on the screw and then it will hold it for you so here's like a um like a bird's eye view of it so yeah and i just sprinkled the hay around the cage and that's not supposed to be covered he sometimes covers it because that's where he usually hides now in that hideout or in this one and it's just timothy hay and i did sprinkle some around the cage if you could see because there's some in there and so yeah and it's all made out of wood and if you guys are wondering it did not take long at all it took me and my brother to make it around two two hours to one and a half hours and so yeah and i did change the sand bath out just for new sand and if you guys are wondering if I haven't mentioned it, mentioned it in my other videos, I do use Trojan's Play Sand from my um, local hardware store um, at Home Depot. And it's like seven bucks for a huge bag. And so, yeah, Buck usually hides in there or there. Right now, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he is in there. There's just a little thing right there. And he does like climbing up there because it gives it a nice texture. And I don't have too much ceramic things in here. I just the only ceramic things I have is that glass bowl and that now. So yep. And that water bowl is kind of big, but it's kind it's like it holds more water, I guess. And so yeah. And yeah. And I will do a video about the sand. Um like how to have a hamster like owning a hamster on a budget so yep it if you guys are wondering um this cage is about 700 square inches of floor space which is above the bare minimum remember the bare minimum of a hamster cage is 450 square inches for the u.s and canada Make sure to like subscribe and comment down below bye and happy new year